Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of the Premier League. Uh, it's a funny review in a way because I saw quite some highlights and I heard quite some stuff but I don't think there's all that much to say uh, uh, here except you know yeah the big teams all won through penalties. It is really weird and so the big winners actually are Arsenal and Leicester and yes the uh, statistically the biggest winner is Crystal Palace with a win over Everton. Uh, yeah it was really 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 a uh, weird round overall so um it was also a weird round because spurs of course had to uh delay their game against brighton because of covid out outbreak and we all know yeah uh, there might be some trouble spurs actually uh could forfeit the game against ren and then um they cannot even qualify for the next round in the Europa Conference League, although I have a feeling they're not too sad about that. But Antonio Conte's European record, still very, very bad, very bad. Okay, uh, let's uh, jump into, I mean, uh, City Wolves, a 1-0 win through a penalty that was probably uh, contain the most contentious of, uh, one of all the ones given. Raheem Sterling scores it. Uh, definitely not help Raul Jimenez getting a, a yellow, two yellows within like a minute of each other delay of game. So, uh, yeah, not a glorious win overall, but a win nonetheless. I actually think that this wolf side has something in them uh, growing. It, it, it could get something uh, going again as we had a few seasons, a season ago. Um, that definitely seems to be. Uh, change uh, as I said Arsenal uh, probably the one that was one of the better performances like I said Odegaard and Gabriel uh, yes it was only against the Southampton team that finds themselves bottom of the table but at least Arsenal is now beating these opponents uh, regularly which means that uh, this could actually push them up uh, rather well into a uh, position where they can uh, qualify for Europe. Maybe not quite Champions League yet, for that you gotta take points of the big boys, but you know, a uh, much more solid position I have feel I, Arsenal, Ajax, Arsenal are at the moment. Uh, anything but solid is Chelsea. Yes, uh, you have Kovacic missing, you have, um, of course, N'Golo Kante missing. That causes a big uh, problem for Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, all the defensive stability seems to be gone because of these misses. And yeah, uh, Chelsea leads a rivalry, uh, also a very interesting game because, you know, we all know that Leeds can play uh, a great style of football, which they haven't been doing. Also has to has, has, has been saying, Leeds took a lead through Rafinha, then Mason Mount equalizes and then the penalties uh, started both uh, fouls at, upon Antonio Rüdiger, which I especially the second one, absolutely uh, idiotic uh, foul given and Jorginho converts both penalties. Uh, he basically gets back in, into form, the last one deep into stoppage time uh, and a little bit hurting for Leeds because they had equalized in the 83rd. I uh, actually made an effort to watch a lot of Liverpool against Aston Villa and in a way regretted it. I should have stayed with uh, the German Bundesliga of Mozart um, because there was a little bit more action there. Um, from what I hear, I mean, I did not see the first 15-20 uh, minutes because there was still the German, the German Bundesliga. So I switched over and you saw that Liverpool is pressing forward. And yes, it's the return of the, I don't want to say the lost son, but the return of Steven Gerrard, the favorite son uh, to Anfield. And of course, everyone waving, clapping, blah, 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 you know, all the good stuff there. Uh, but Aston Villa was worst out in defending. Yeah, anything but what Milan did. Um, Liverpool, first 20 minutes, they're typically impressive self, but they cannot score. And then the game really petered out. And I saw that the commentators uh, could discuss a whole lot of other stuff. And, uh, and they mentioned, yeah, the game doesn't give us much. So we can actually talk about many off-field uh, things here which is never a good sign, to be honest. Uh, the winner came, and that was probably, of all the penalties given, the clearest one, uh, when Tyrone Minks brought down Salah in the box, and Salah, in his typical way, I, I have to say, I love how Salah takes penalties. This is how I want it. Straight run up, bang, into internet. Now I love this stutter stepping and, you know, uh, celebration. Salah is really, really good at that also. So, uh, gotta give, give him credit. He makes it 1-0 and that was the game. And yeah, so Stevie G uh, with a loss at Liverpool, but maybe, you know, 
deep in his heart he will not regret it. Um, Norwich actually held their own against Manchester United, but you know, if you bring down Ronaldo in the box rather stupidly, you don't deserve the win. Ronaldo converts, gets his goal, celebration. I actually, what I don't like about Ronaldo's celebration is so much putting the focus on himself. And then at the end, ah, here, come celebrate with me, celebrate with me. It, I, I don't know, it doesn't look quite right in many ways. But, you know, United and Ralf Rangnick get something, uh, another win. It still looks a little bit off yet, but, you know, it will get there eventually. As I said, Leicester against Newcastle, that was uh, with our, 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 the most positive uh, performance. Um, Tielemann scoring a double and Patson Daka. Uh, adding another one and then late Madison getting a fourth one. So they bounce back quite well from the loss to Napoli, unlike Napoli, which we'll get in the Serie A review, which I will probably post uh, next. So that was a big one. And then Crystal Palace winning 3-1 against Everton. That's why I'm wearing Crystal Palace. Uh, is in a way a big win for, for, for them because it sees them moving up a little bit further in the table. Now the table is at this moment because of Spurs rather uneven already. So Burnley had to be called off because of the snow and they have to call off the game now um, because uh, of COVID. So uh, Spurs will have a rather tough schedule and maybe exiting the Conference League will give them uh, some spots to uh, make it up. Uh, the top three remain the same. It remains a tight title race with uh, City being favored. Uh, and then I think for the last spot, West Ham, United, Arsenal and Spurs, potentially those, uh, yeah, Spurs potentially. But Spurs has make, make so Spurs could find themselves uh, well in, in there. So I think it's a four-way race for the European spots in many ways. I'm not sure if Leicester has, has it uh, to make it into the European spots in any way uh we have a midweek round uh with i'm at the moment leicester spurs is still on i'm curious about that i think that is uh that would be actually a game for leicester to make it into it arsenal west ham sounds like an interesting game uh to look forward to chelsea everton for some reason i also have mark marked down uh the other ones i mean city against leeds should be rather straightforward and as should be Liverpool against Newcastle, which sounds big, but at the moment just isn't. So yeah, that was it from me for the Premier League so far. Uh, you'll get more um, in the stats cast, but I decided this time put the table in as well because I didn't have all that much to talk about. In any case, if you want to add any, anything, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.